Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about how I fill in my eyebrows. I get tons of questions on how I fill them in, what products I use, how you should do it. So I thought I would sit down and film an updated brow routine for you. My last brow tutorial I did was way back when I first started my channel and I am definitely overdue for an updated one. I'm going to share with you all my favorite products that I like to use as well as tips and tricks and just the techniques that I like to do when filling in my brows. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I like to to fill in my eyebrows then just keep watching. So really quickly I just want to mention my favorite go-to brow products. My favorite brow products are all made by Anastasia Beverly Hills. She just kills the brow game and she just knows how to make brow products. My number one go-to brow product is the Brow Wiz by ABH. I like to use the color Soft Brown. This just makes filling in your brows so easy. It's pretty much a brow pencil but you twist it up so you don't have to worry about sharpening it and it also has a nice spoolie on the other end that makes it really nice to just kind of comb out your brows and see what you're doing and it kind of disperses the product as well. So I absolutely love the Brow Wizzes. Definitely my favorite thing to fill in my brows with. The other Anastasia product that I like to fill my brows in with sometimes is her pomade. This one is really nice if you have more sparse areas and you're trying to really fill it in. This does a great job at doing that and I like to use their brow brush that they have. The text is worn off because I use it so much but I believe this is like like a 12 or something you can find it on their website or at Alta or Sephora but what I like to do is I just use this I dip it in there brush some of it off and then pretty much do the same thing I would do with my brow is but this product just helps to build in the areas that I don't have as much hair or it's a little thinner or more sparse and this is also waterproof so it's going to make sure that your eyebrows are not going to go anywhere. So this is really nice in the heat or if you live in a really humid area, uh, this stuff is great for that. But I do suggest if you're a little more new to filling in your brows, I would stick with a powder or a pencil like the Brow Wiz just because these are really easy to get a little too heavy handed with and your brows can start to look not natural. So if you're just starting out, I would say go with one of those instead of these, but these are also really, really nice. And then the other brow product I like to use is by Urban Decay. This is their little brow box and it is in the color Honey Pot. It's really nice. It comes with two brow powders. As you can see, there's a lighter one and a little bit of a darker one. It comes with a little mini tweezers and a little angled eyeliner brush. I personally use my own brush. I don't use that one. It's a little too small for me, but I like to use the lighter color, especially now that I lightened my hair. I've been kind of grabbing for this a little bit more because I'm getting used to filling in my brows with lighter hair by my face. I can't go as dark with my brows. And powders are a really nice way to start getting into filling your brows if you've never done it before. These are a lot more user friendly, I would say, because it doesn't allow you to get super harsh or like super blocky. It's just really soft and can really give you some nice color to your brows and it's just a really nice way to kind of ease your way into filling in your eyebrows. Powder is how I started. I actually started with a matte brown eyeshadow. If you don't want to invest in a brow powder or you don't have one, if you just have a light brown or depending on your hair color, it's a brown eyeshadow, that'll work just the same. You just want to make sure that there is no shimmer or sparkle in it because you don't want your brows to be glimmering in the sun or anything. You want to make sure that it's a matte shadow. And then the next product that I like to use on my brows is the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's pretty much like a mascara wand for your eyebrows. Brows. This stuff is so nice. I use it every time I fill in my brows just to keep my brow hairs in place. It's like hairspray for your brows pretty much if you have really wild hairs or your brow hairs like to fall down or not stay in place. This stuff is really good to hold them in place and I also like to use this because I feel like after I fill them in when I go over my brows it kind of just makes them look more full and hair like opposed to just filling them in and leaving them. And then this product isn't technically a brow product but I do use it when filling in my brows and it is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I use the color light medium. I love this because it has the doe foot applicator which makes cleaning up the under edge of your brow really nice and easy. So I have been obsessed with this stuff for probably like the past year. It's so good and I use it every day just to clean up the under edges of my brows. So now that I talked about all of my favorite products for filling in my brows, let's just jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off, I just take the spoolie end of my Anastasia brow is and I just comb my brow hairs in the direction that they're going so that I can kind of see the outline of what my brow is going to look like and then 
I like to start kind of at this point right here. Um, I don't like to start in here because I don't want to get too heavy handed. So I'll start about right here and just kind of start feathering a baseline back at the bottom edge of my brow and just kind of outline this back half of it. Then after I have this underneath edge laid down, I like to just very, very lightly feather it inward, just making little hair-like strokes. You don't want to be too harsh or too heavy-handed in this inner area because that's where you'll get boxy-looking brows and they'll just become really unnatural-looking. So you want to keep it light and do little hair-like strokes. If you do happen to go a little too heavy handed, you can use the spoolie and just kind of brush it up and that'll kind of disperse the product through and kind of fix any mistakes you made. Then after I have the underneath pretty well lined out, I'm going to go ahead and kind of start at that same area that I started on the bottom and do the same thing to the top, but I don't want to go too heavy handed again you don't want it to look like your brows have been just outlined you want to keep those really feathery light-handed strokes just enough to make your brows look like they're a little bit thicker and fuller and then what I like to do especially on this arch and corner I like to brush my brow hairs down so that I can see the root and really see where my brow shape is so then once I have them brushed down I'll just continue Kind of making hair like strokes in the direction of hair growth and then I just like to comb the hairs back up and you can see it just made it look a lot fuller and more dense without being like boom I outlined my brow and then I'll just gradually work my way in to the inner part here again I'm just making really light handed hair like strokes in the direction of hair growth so that they look natural and not like I just filled them in hardcore. And again, I just like to use the spoolie as I go just to kind of blend out the product and see how it's looking. And really the spoolie is your best friend when doing your brows because it just really helps blend it all together and helps you see really what you're doing and what it's gonna look like. Now another thing that I will do when I'm filling in this part of my brow sometimes is if I don't have a lot of time or I just have been having a hard time making them look natural and not too dark or filled in, is I will take a brow powder and just fill in this area with the powder instead of a pencil because it prevents you from getting too heavy handed and it looks really nice and soft and natural. Okay, so after I have my shape pretty well done and filled in, I would like to go in with my Stay Don't Straight by Benefit. I love this stuff. It's really nice because it has a doe foot applicator on the end which makes it really easy to clean up your brows opposed to getting a concealer and a brush and sculpting them out that way. This is just kind of a nice one step process. So when I take it out, I like to kind of brush off the extra product just so I don't have too much underneath my brows. And I like to just start in the inner corner and just follow the shape of my brow. And this is really gonna clean up the under edge and make it look really nice and sharp and neat. I also like to drag it a little bit further in than I filled in my brow just because it gives more of an illusion that it is more of a faded inner corner because you're still giving it a little bit of shape here but you didn't fill it in so it just kind of helps soften that a little bit. Putting a little concealer like this under your brows too is really going to help disguise those little hairs that are coming in between brow visits or tweezing or waxing or whatever you do to groom your eyebrows so it really helps just to give a nice clean look to your brows. 
And then I also use this just to prime my eyes for my eyeshadows. Then I'll normally take a beauty blender and just blend it out and get really nice up and close underneath my brow and just blend that product out. Then I like to just comb through my brows one more time to make sure that there's no sparse areas or anything I want to change. And that looks pretty good to me. So then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just comb that through my brows. And this will make sure that my brow hairs stay in place and don't move throughout the day and really just give them more of a hair like look instead of just being filled in it kind of helps the hair stand out again and again I just brush it in the direction of hair growth so after I set it with the brow gel that is it for my brow so this is the finished eyebrow and then this is what it started out like so side by side you can see a big difference filling in your brows just gives it a lot more shape and structure to your face and really just lifts it it opens up your eyes and it's just really beneficial to fill in your eyebrows and another tip I just want to add is if you're curious about how to shape your brows a key point is to take like your brow pencil set it at the inside of your nose and that is the point that your eyebrow should start if you take it from your nose and go right through the center of your iris, this is where your arch should be. And then from your nose to the outer corner of your eye is where your brow should end. So that's just kind of a key rule of how to shape your brow. You can arch it however you like, but if you're new to filling in your brows, that's just kind of a good guideline to go by for shaping your brows. So that is everything for my brow tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you can take some of these techniques and tips and they can be beneficial for you when filling in your eyebrows. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, as well as subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.